parronchia parronchia is inflammation of the skin around the finger or toenail it can be acute if it is less than six weeks or chronic if it is persisting more than six weeks acute parronchia can affect anyone however it is more likely to follow a break in the skin especially between the proximal nail fold and the nail plate for example, if the nail is beaten or the nail fold is habitually picked, in infants that suck their fingers or thumbs, ignore toenails, on the application of school punctured or artificial fingernails, treatment with oral retinoids that dry the skin, and other drugs including epidermal growth factor receptors can predispose for paronchia. Chronic paronchia mainly occurs in people with hand dermatitis or who have constantly cold and wet hands, such as dairy farmers, fishermen, cleaners, housewives, people with poor blood circulation. Acute and chronic skin infection tend to be more frequently and aggressive in patients with diabetes or chronic debility or that are immune suppressed by drugs or disease. Acute paronchia is usually due to bacterial infection with Staphylococcus aureus, and it can also be caused by Streptococcus pyogenes, Pseudomonas, or other bacterial pathogens. It can also be due to the cold sore virus or herpes simplex, in which it is called herpetic with low, and the yeast called Candida albicans. It might, in case of the chronic paronchia, it is due to dermatitis of the nail fold. Often several different microorganisms can be cultured and mainly Candida albicans is responsible for chronic paronchia. Sometimes gram-negative bacilli and Pseudomonas can also cause chronic paronchia. Overall, acute paronchia is mainly due to Staphylococcus aureus, whereas chronic paronchia is mainly due to Candida albicans. Acute paronchia develops rapidly over a few hours and usually affects a single nail fold. Symptoms are pain, redness, and swelling around finger. If herpes simplex is a cause or herpetic withdrawal, multiple tender vesicles might be observed. Acute paronchia due to streptococcus might be accompanied by fever, lymphangites, and the tender lymph node. And the acute candida more commonly infects the proximal nail fold. When we see chronic paronchia, chronic paronchia is a gradual process. It may start in one nail fold, particularly the proximal nail fold, but often spreads laterally and to several other fingers. Each affected nail fold is swollen and lifted off the nail plate. This allows the entry of organism and irritants. The affected skin might be red and tender from time to time and sometimes a little pus. The nail plate thickens and is distorted often with transverse ribs. When we see the potential complications of paronchia, acute paronchia can spread to cause a serious hand infection such as cellulite, and they may involve underlying tendons, which is called infectious tendonites. The main complication of chronic paronchia is nail dystrophy, which is often associated with distorted rigid nail plates. After recovery, it takes up to a year for the nail to grow back to normal in case of chronic paronchia. When we came to the diagnosis, paronchia is clinical diagnosis, often supported by laboratory evidence of infection. Gram stain microscopy may reveal the bacteria, and the KH microscopy may reveal fungus, and other investigations can be done. When we came to treatment, in the case of acute paronchia, soak affected digit in a warm water several times daily, and oral antibiotics. It's necessary for severe or prolonged bacterial infections such as tetracycline, doxycycline, and consider early treatment with acyclovir in case of herpetic with low. Surgical incision and drainage might be required for abscess followed by irrigation and packing with gauze. In the case of chronic paronchia, keep the hands dry and warm, avoid wet work, or use totally waterproof gloves that are lined with cotton. Treatment should focus on dermatitis and any microbes grown on culture. Topical corticosteroids applied for two to four weeks and the repeated fall flares. And oral antifungal agent such as intraconazole or fluconazole is used if candidal is confirmed. Thank you for watching.